Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of uterine polyps and ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. Both findings in, in a patient. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Now you can see the uterus having a uterine polyp in the middle and distal portion of the uterine cavity and this is unibladder and an ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. This is the endometrial polyps that is uterine polyps. No. The, this is the uterine polyp and this is the right, uh, the ovarian cyst. Ovarian hemorrhagic cyst, as you can see, the hemorrhage has occurred inside the cyst. Uterine polyps are more likely to develop in women who are between 40 and 60 years old than in younger Women on uterine polyps can occur after menopause, but rarely occur in women under 20 years old. Under 20 years old, around 5% of the uterine polyps are cancerous or precancerous. Uterine polyps range in size from few millimeters, not larger than sesame seed, to several centimeters, golf ball size or larger. Now. The polyps attached to the uterine wall by a large base are a thin stalk and there may be one or many uterine polyps. You can see the blood flow inside this, inside the uterus. No significant blood flow is seen in the polyp and the ovarian cyst. Now the signs and symptoms of the uterine polyps include irregular menstrual bleeding, for example having frequently unpredictable periods of variable length and heaviness, bleeding between menstrual periods, excessively heavy menstrual periods, vaginal bleeding after menopause and infertility. Now the causes of the uterine polyps each month, estrogen levels in women rise and fall, causing the lining of the uterine uterus to thicken and then shed during the periods. Polyps form when no, too much of that lining grows. That may be due to the changes in the estrogen levels that happen just before and during menopause. Now you can see the ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. Treatment may not be necessary if the polyps do not cause any symptoms. However, polyps should be treated if they cause heavy bleeding during menstrual periods or if they are suspected to be precancerous or cancerous. If a polyps is discovered after menopause, it should be removed. Now you can see the Ovarian hemorrhagic cyst, again, now this is the right ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. Now the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst is an antidensal mass formed because of occurrence of bleeding into a follicular or corp corpus luteal cyst. Hemorrhagic cysts are commonly seen in clinical practice because hemorrhage into a cyst is usually painful, triggering the patient to consult the physician. Many radiologists use the term the complex to describe all cysts other than totally clear simple cysts. However, many benign entities are complex such as dermoid cysts, endometriomas, hemorrhagic cysts and cyst adenomas.
having an uh, an hemorrhagic ovarian cyst is not necessarily a problem many times these cysts do not cause any symptoms and are often found during pelvic examination that is done for another reason if the cyst if a cyst is small or medium sized and is not causing any pain or other symptoms your your doctor will likely recommend you to monitoring get it monitoring by the physician A hemorrhagic or ruptured ovarian cyst is most common cause of acute pelvic pain in a febrile premenstrual women presenting the emergency room. They can occur during pregnancy also. Hemorrhagic cysts are normal in ovulatory women, usually resolving within eight weeks. they can be quite variable in appearance however they can be confused with ovarian endometriomas you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks